you can't just you know take away student debt and then and then not fill in with some alternative provide people with some some way to finance education it's still a costly endeavor and so we, we tend to think about uh, children's savings accounts as one potential way to help uh, in the long term to to resolve the problem have people start saving early now we understand that low-income people save small amounts of money but this is about effort and ability as well. It's about our American value system, that people are investing, that they have some attachment to, to paying for college. But then we think about things like uh, maybe using a Pell Grant, uh, and putting it into those accounts early on. Think about our scholarship programs. If we think about savings and we protect savings as something that can only be used for college and other asset building types of things, can we put that scholarship money into an account early on, let that person leverage it? And so we have to rethink not only uh, student debt problem, but how do we think about financial aid? If it's part of our economic mobility system, then might we dump some of this money into these accounts early on so that kids can see and feel and touch and begin to prepare better because they see some hope in the future. They, they have some investment in them that they tangibly can hold. Children's savings accounts are understood as progressively financed tools that facilitate educational outcomes for children universally, ideally. Um, and I think there's a lot of momentum in that field, in part opened by the concerns around student debt. I mean, not entirely. Um, policymakers are turning to children's savings accounts to address concerns about educational attainment and the persistent achievement gap, but there's also, as there's growing concern about just tangibly how we finance college, um, more interest in um, given the price of college and how, as Willie mentioned, it's impossible to pay for it um, with a, a summer of work, um, but how might uh, we help families do that throughout the lifespan of their child. So places like Maine, um, where a foundation opens an account for every child um, born a Maine resident and seeds that account with $500 um, so that you're not only helping families build assets over that child's lifespan, but you're also um, really cultivating an identity as someone who saves for college, has a strategy for how they're going to make college actually feasible and then plants that idea with a child that higher education is going to be a potential path. Um, different programs around the country use different models and have different features. You know, Nevada opens accounts with smaller initial deposits. The city of San Francisco opens an account for every kindergartner um, in the public education system. Um, and we're seeing um, communities like Boston planning to uh, start a program. Um, other New England states have adopted legislation in this um, year and will be rolling out initiatives. So I think a growing sense that um, we need um, financing mechanisms for higher education that are consistent with the responsibility with which we have invested our education system, which is to be a really viable ladder to make the American dream within the grasp of every child.